Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex and this is a flex disc that belongs to my E39M5 which I'll be replacing today along with the central support bearing. As you can see, I have already removed the exhaust, so the next step is to take off the heat shields. To access the flex disc bolts, we'll have to remove the grasp member, so unbolt the mounts and place a support under the transmission. Before removing anything else, make sure to clearly mark the drive shaft's alignment to both the transmission and differential flanges. If your handbrake works, you can use it to hold the drive shaft in place while you undo the bolts. On the differential end, there is a slot you can pry from in case your CV joint is stuck. Now we can unbolt the center support and remove the drive shaft. Now this is something you definitely want to do while the drive shaft is still in the car. But I wasn't paying enough attention, so I came up with this contraption to keep the drive shaft from spinning and twisting. And it worked out pretty good. Now that we have some splines exposed, we can precisely mark them so that we are not even one spline up when we reinstall the drive shaft. To get the puller on, I used a knife to cut the rubber between the bearing and the metal frame, so let's remove the remaining rubber bits to get a hold of the bearing itself. When installing a new bearing, make sure you push it in all the way so it bottoms out. I used a large enough socket and a hammer to tap it in. Put back the shim, line up your markings and reunite the drive shafts. Use red Loctite on the bolt threads. When bolting up the new flex disc, pay attention to small arrows printed on the rubber. They should point towards the drive shaft and the transmission flange. After cleaning up the differential and drive shaft mating surfaces, we can install a new gasket. And then pack it with fresh grease. When reinstalling the drive shaft, again, make sure all your marks line up. I'm also using this butyl rubber insulation piece that was missing from my car. The center support bearing requires pre-tension, so only fully tighten it up after both ends of the drive shaft are torqued to spec. When fully tightened, the nuts should be centered between the two holes.
now the cross member is supporting transmission again, the wiring is all tied up, so let's reinstall the heat shields and be done with this job. Also here you can see that I replaced my shifter and all the bushings while the drive shaft was out, but that's a subject for another video. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.